Hi, welcome to the Ask Sabado channel. Who's Sabado? You know Sabado, that retired cat. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, the six health benefits that I experienced as a result of my retirement. And uh, But before I get into that, I'd like to just give a little background about the channel and, and really the genesis of this channel. Um, when I retired, I uh, took a look around on YouTube, just like everybody else, just like many of you are, to try to figure out, uh, just get some perspective. And it became very clear to me that as I, as I looked around YouTube, you know, there were a lot of financial advisors, a lot of financial planners, a lot of financial gurus that had a lot of opinions about um, early retirement and how the money works and all of those things. But a couple of things became abundantly clear. There were very few that were just speaking about their own life experience that were down to earth in ways that I could understand. And the other piece of that was that there weren't a lot of people that looked like me. Um, and just in my own circles, I know other people that have retired that look like me and they've retired early and so on. But I, I, I get the sense that there's, there's a population of people or a group of people out there that don't think it's possible, not because it's not actually possible, but because they don't have somebody representing them, you know, on some of these channels. And um, and I think that happens a lot with underrepresented groups. So I thought to myself, why not start a channel and just talk to people about my experience, the things that I've learned, give people a place to answer questions or to, to get to ask questions and answer questions and really just share perspective. And so um, and that was really the birth of of the Ask Sabado channel. Um, how did I get the name Sabado? It's, I was talking to a neighbor of mine and, um, we were talking, I said, you know, every day is like Saturday. And he says, Hey, Sabado. And then he suggested that I, he started to nickname me Sabado. And so then I became Sabado. Um, I come to you with a bit of expertise. I did retire as a, uh, as a chief human resources officer. So when it comes to how things work within organizations and, how uh, things move and the way organizations think and organizational cultures and what happens behind the scenes. I do have expertise there and I was part of a lot of the decisions uh, for both some major nonprofit organizations, some major healthcare organizations and a couple of other uh, uh, fairly large organizations. And so I'm able to provide some perspective, uh, ground some of my perspectives that I share with you and some of the experiences that I had there. So you know, so I, I always think it's important to understand who it is that you're talking to, who you're hearing the information from. Um, you know, my uh, my one of my mantras is that if I care about enough for you to answer your question, it's always going to be the truth. I, I, and I do care enough about you to answer any questions that you have. And I promise you, they will always be the truth. Um, and that also aligns with my personal mission statement. Um, which is uplifting the human condition in any way that I can. And I happen to be fortunate enough to have had a set of experiences that led me to being able to retire early. So that's um, about me. That's that's who I am. And that's that's who Sabado is. And so um, and if you like this channel, please feel free, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. I try to put out new content uh, multiple times a week. I um put out long form videos like these on, um, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So every Wednesday and Saturday, uh, I put out a new long form video like this. And then during the week, I try to put out little shorts and I put out the shorts just because I think, you know, going through the grind, uh, on a day to day basis, sometimes we need a little inspiration or a little perspective or a little refocusing. And that's what I try to do there. So I, um, you know, if you find any of that helpful, you know, again, consider subscribing to the, to the channel, but on that note, we'll go ahead and get started. And so one of the things I, I thought I would share with you are some of the improved health benefits that I experienced personally, uh, as a result of, of retiring early. I, I think a lot of times people talk about anecdotally, uh, the relaxation that you experience and people talk about the, um, you know, some of the ability to do different things and the, and the new newfound freedoms, but there are also tangible health benefits that I think are um, helpful when you retire early. And so I want to go through those. And so, um, and, and it, they really go back to under the broad umbrella of a uh, peace of mind. And there's, and, and, I, and so I want to, I want to kind of go through that with you. So, 
Um, so we'll get st- we'll go through them here one by one. Uh, number one, uh, just overall improved physical health. My my stress is down. Um, I, I don't have some of the same stresses. You know, many of us when we go into work on Monday, we're stressed about going to work on Monday because we don't want to go into the office on Monday. Uh, going into Monday, you know, you're gonna have to go deal with the boss. You know, you're gonna have to deal with directives, you know, you're going to have to deal with goals, you're going to have to deal with a host of objectives and sometimes some difficult people. And, you know, as much as we tell ourselves it's not, we know that that's a stressful situation and we don't want to do that. So, um, you know, by not having to go into the office, um, it's reduced my stress. Do I get a stress level zero? No, none of us do because we all have to worry about something. Uh, but I don't have to worry about that as much. And I and they say that stress is a, is a major contributing factor to chronic disease. Uh, It's a major contributing factor to obesity um, because by not getting the, when you're, when you're not able to sleep and you have the stress, that stress uh, produces cortisol, which is a hormone that causes a person to gain weight. And so, um, and, and it's interesting because what I'm finding is that my weight is under better control and it's easier to control my weight now that I'm, now that I'm retired. Um, And my sleep has, has increased a hundred percent. So when I go to bed, which is usually a little bit later now, I'm out. I don't wake up in the middle of the night. I'm sleeping deep. I'm waking up in the morning refreshed. I'm ready to go. Um, and, and my overall sleep is just incredibly better. So, you know, those, there's, there are physical health benefits that you will experience, uh, when your time comes to, when you, once you retire, uh, number two, my uh, mental health has gotten incredibly better. Uh, I don't have as much anxiety. You know, one of the one of the challenges of of success or being a successful person or a person that meets objectives is that a lot of times we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to succeed, and and, and there's places we want to go and things we got to do, and we always have a task list. We always have objectives that we're trying to meet. We are always uh, in the mix, as they say. And so once I retired, I didn't have those same uh, types of pressures. I was able to get out and do the things that I wanted to do when I wanted to do them on my own time frame. Do I have to be certain places on time? Sure. You know, you have a doctor's appointment, a dentist appointment, uh, lunch with friends. You know, I I haven't become that willy nilly cat that that shows up two hours late to lunch with friends. So, you know, you have to you have to be there. But again, to compare that to the stress of a deadline after deadline after deadline, and and in many cases deadlines that are uh, impossible to meet, but you know that the, the well being, your well being, or the the um, the 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 job security, your job security is going to be impacted. Um, you know that creates a lot a lot of stress and a lot of that anxiety, and so you know, and it and it really helped me function a little bit more clearly a lot better. Um, I'm sleeping just, just, uh, better. It's just everything that, that lends itself to that level of anxiety that I was living with before has just improved exponentially. And I have increased resilience. I'm able to deal with when situations come up, I'm a little bit more, um, I don't want to say flexible, but I, I have the capacity to deal with them. You know, think about the last time you had a situation that you may have overreacted to or that was difficult for you to get your head around, not because the the situation was incredibly complicated, but just because you had so much going on. You were you were to the max and you you didn't have the capacity to deal with what you look back on as a simple issue. Well, I find myself there now and I find myself able to really sit back and try to understand maybe why others do things. You know, they say that you judge others by their actions and yourself by your intentions. Well, it's given me the opportunity to to spend time to understand what are the intentions of the other person. And a lot of times when people do things, as opposed to jumping to that negative conclusion that they're out to get me, I'm now able to sit back and process that in a different way. And that really has led to uh, just a better sense of the world, a better feeling about the world, and uh, just just and and my mental health. I don't have that stress that comes with that, and and all the other mental health challenges that that come with that. Um, number three, uh, my communication, or I'm sorry, my relationships 
have gotten better. Um, all of them. My relationship with my wife is, is um, it's just, it's incredible. It, it was good um, before I retired, uh, but it's incredible now. Um, every night we're spending quality time together. We spend a lot of time together during the day. I can leave the house and not feel as though I'm, I'm letting her down because we only have so many hours in a, in a week to, to spend together. Um, but now I have the ability to do spend time with her and spend time with my friends and do some of the other things that, that fill my cup. And so, you know, I, I hate to use cliches, but at this point now, my, my cup uh, has run, runneth over. And when we do uh, find ourselves in crossing signal, signals, the, the way that we're able to deal with them are, are completely different because we, again, it goes back to having that emotional bandwidth to really sit down uh, and, and process what we've talked about or what the situation is, understand what it is, where we are. Um, we're able to, we have the time to be introspective to see where could we have perhaps communicate a little bit differently. And so what we're finding is that our communication just among each other is a hundred times better. And it's, it was never horrible. It was never bad, but it's just better. You know, there's some things that they just continue to grow. They continue to grow and grow and grow. And is there ever a destination that you're getting to? No, it's always the journey. You're always looking for it to be better. And so the communication has been better. And then my own sense of, um, you know, empathy and understanding has, has grown again, because I'm able to sit back and as opposed to reacting in a transactional way to what's happened or what the circumstance is, um, I'm able now to, to take a look back and say, this person may have been going through something or what is this person dealing with or why did this person react the way that they did? They must have something going on. And so instead of reacting and jumping down somebody else's throat, I now can ask the question, is everything OK? What else is going on? Let me try to get behind what that is. And so what it's done is that the bond with the people that are closest to me have gotten have gotten stronger because I'm able to take the time, because I have the capacity to think about perhaps their side of the story, and I am able to communicate in a way that's clear enough or in, clear enough for us to be able to uh, to discuss an issue without escalating it. Um, and, and a lot of times that just comes because you don't have the capacity, because you're working 60 hours a week, and the two or three hours you have at home, you have to be real efficient in all of your communication. And it takes away from your ability to really take the time on things that you need to take your time on. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Uh, number four, uh, enhance uh, productivity and focus. There is no way I could have done a YouTube channel as well as this YouTube channel was going had I still been working. Because I wouldn't, it, it all comes down to the time. I wouldn't have had the time. I wouldn't, and, and, and that time doesn't mean I wouldn't have had necessarily the time to do one, two, three, four, five, because I was always known as a person that can get a lot done in a short period of time. What I mean by that is I wouldn't have been able to focus as long or as, as directly um, or as precisely as I'm able to focus now, because again, it comes down to that, that issue of mental bandwidth. If I focus on something, I have time to do it and I'm going to spend the time to do it and I can focus on it. And again, all of these things kind of overlap with each other because again, it takes that time to build relationships. It takes that time to get yourself into, uh, you know, whether it's physical fitness or just to take care of yourself. But, you know, my productivity is increased because now when I say I'm going to do something, I, I, I'm able to allocate the time to do it. And it actually takes me less time to get things done because I'm able to focus on them for longer. Um, and I get more fulfillment out of the stuff that I do because, you know, I, I think in, in one of my earlier um, videos or shorts, I talk a little bit about having control of your life, having control of your time. And, you know, when you're doing things that you want to do, then it's not work. If you're doing things that are that are fulfilling your cup. You know, those are the types of things where they say time flies when you're having fun. Well, when your life is one where you dictate what you do when you want to do it on your own time frame, your own deliverables, and there are things that are fulfilling your cup, 
then when you do those things, you just have an increased level. You have an incredible level of fulfillment. Um, and I think anybody out there would tell you the same thing. Anybody that likes to garden or anybody that does music or anybody that does anything. And I, I, I challenge anybody to put in the comments, what are, what are some of those things that you like to do that you just wish you had more time for? And then you tell me, if you were able to do that all the time and spend all your time on it, something you love to do, would you consider that work? No, you'd be fulfilled when you did that. And so I found that I'm, I'm able to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more, um, I don't know what the word is. Um, I don't know. I could, I could just choose what I want to do. I, I could be more direct about what it is that I want to do. And then I just go after that. Um, and then number five, personal growth. There's, there's, I, I think we all have, and, and I am no different. Um, we all have a place where we want to be. And, and it's not that we want to be necessarily a manager, a company, this, that, and the other, but just a place emotionally, physically, whatever the case is, you might want to lose weight. Um, you might want to be a better, like I, I knew that I wanted to be a more patient person and, and practice more grace and, 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 I wanted to change the way that I react to people and I wanted to be a better friend, you know, but I've had the time to, uh, to really exercise the, the self reflection and the mindfulness necessary to not be transactional and just deal with what's in front of me, but really to be able to take the time to take specific steps to, to be, um, a better friend. I'll give you an example. I had a really good friend of mine. Um, I went to his house and uh, he didn't answer the door. And so I got upset and it, it hurt my feelings because I felt like, you know, I wasn't important enough for you to answer the door when I got there and I was easily forgotten. So that hurt my feelings. And so in, in the old days, I would have either cut him off or I would have went in and, and probably been fairly rude in my uh, um and my explanation to him of what happened. But what I did was that because I had this, because I had the time, I had the bandwidth to think about it, I was able to uh, exercise the empathy. Although I was unhappy with what happened, I was able to, I, my conversation went something like, hey, look, you know, when you did this, it hurt my feelings. And I felt like as good of friends we are that I deserve better than that. And I figure there might have been something going on. And I'm telling you this because in the past, I know that I haven't necessarily mentioned what it was or how things made me feel. But I respect our friendship too much uh, for me to respond in that way. And so by responding that way, he explained to me everything that happened. And we had a, a, a really nice conversation about it. And help me feel better. And, and he actually apologized. And it's like it never happened. I mean, it's the only reason is I, I bring it up is because I think it's a great example of, you know, what would have happened before and what would have happened now, because having retired, I have the uh, capacity to, um, to to really look at those things in, in a different way. And that's because I've spent the time uh, to do the work with myself to be a better person, to be a better, and that, that's a better spouse, a better whatever it is. Um, and you have the time to do it. And then the last one, and again, I, I don't get religious on the channel. I'm not a religious person, uh, but I do believe in what I call the wisdom of the universe, which has a component of spirituality to it, because I do believe that everything in the universe is connected to everything else and is a result of and will result from everything that's ever happened or is going to happen going forward. So I do have that uh, belief. And part of what uh, helps me, that helps me with is my own inner harmony. And once I retired, I was able to really kind of ground myself and, and develop that sense of harmony to really look at the world around me different, to start looking at the connectivities, uh, to start looking at perhaps some of the downstream implications of different behaviors that I might engage in or helping my friends understand what might be the downstream effects if something were to happen or, or something of that nature and, and really keeping myself at peace. Because I, I think that uh, if, if you don't get anything from this channel, um, the one thing that I think all of you should walk away from 
is understanding that life, whether you're working or not, is about identifying mechanisms to find peace of mind. And if you're able to, to exercise mindfulness, if you're able to be introspective, if you're able to understand how you fit into the bigger picture, however you identify that bigger picture, um, you, you, you start to develop a peace of mind because you realize you start taking some of the pressure off of yourself and you start to realize that, you know, you can only control what it is that you can control and that there's other factors in play. And sometimes it's important to let those other factors play out in order for the universe to, to give you the right outcome. So, and it's, it's really helped me with that. So again, so I, I think that, um, just in, in, in fall, in, in summary, the, the, the benefits of retiring um, are, are far reaching. It's, it's more than just uh, sipping Mai Tais on a beach in, in Aruba uh, every day for the rest of your life because the fact is most of us don't do that. But what, what most of us do is we spend a majority of our lives trying to convince ourselves that what we're doing on a day-to-day basis is what we want to do, that we want to go into a boss that doesn't care about us or that we want to go into... Uh, unrealistic objectives or that we want to deal every year with a performance evaluation where even if you did a good job, your boss feels like they have to tell you something um, or having to worry about being, as I like to say, overworked and underpaid. And and there's so much more to life than that. And I, I think even if you, uh, once you get past some of those pieces and, and you get past and you start to understand the world for what it is, and you're able to look at the big picture, you start to find some of that peace and realize that is working important? 100%. Uh, But working is a tool. Um, Is money important? 100%. But money isn't the destination. Money is the tool. And and the destination is is peace and and well-being and peace of mind. And so, uh, and and I think retirement helps you get there. So as you set your goals in life, set your goals to find peace of mind. Don't set your goals around work because you're, that's all fine and dandy until something happens at work. Um, there's layoffs. Um, the company closes. Uh, your boss changes or any of those things that you can't control happen. So um, so again, if, if you like this content, if, if you, you know, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. And if you if you like what you're, what, if you're smelling what I'm cooking, as they say, and, and you like what you're hearing, um, you know, again, leave it in the, con- in the comments or feel free to, you know, I, I encourage you actually to, to subscribe to the channel. It, it helps the channel. Um, and it, and it helps me continue to bring this perspective to, to all of us. Um, you know, part of, part of the idea of all of us being the same and being on a level playing field is having access to the same information. And folks, all I'm doing is, providing access to information that maybe some haven't had at different points in their lives. So on that note, have a good rest of your day, have a peaceful existence, and I will talk to you soon.